Hey, what's up, guys? This is Prince back in your host for today's video. And today I am collaborating with really good YouTuber from UTBHT channel, Mr. Sandeep. And he also does tech videos like me. So you can guys check out his channel also. The link for his channel is in the description below, as well as my channel link is also in the description. So you guys can hit a subscribe button down there. So today, Sandeep is going to tell you about a really cool camera app, and then I'm going to show you how to edit your photos like a pro, like a somebody tells you that you have taken this photo with DSLR so my part of the video is in the second part of the video and his part of the video is in the first part of the video in the beginning of the video so let's get started so let's take it baby i want you to know Hey, what is up, guys? This is some VP of our new DSD. Today, I have an exciting app to show you, which is the camera app, Camera MX. It is produced by the company Magix, and it's my favorite camera app because it provides me with the live photos, like the latest version of iPhone 6 is done. Not only with live photos, it has different scene modes, live effects, and the best one of it is to shoot the past. So, without wasting further time, let's jump into the interface of the camera. Is the camera camera MX? Let's open. That means the camera MX. You can see here yeah, the settings. Yeah, you can find all type of settings. You can go through it. So easy corrections. Here yeah, is the scene mode that I'm, I was talking about. This one is off. You can change it if yourself. Photo resolution, video mode, and settings. Here's the front camera, here's the flash, here's the live photo mode, here's the live photo mode. I am turning it on, okay, and now I'll show you a demo. Here's my hand, you can see. Now I'll just one, two, three, four, it goes. Yeah, now you can see it. Now see, here's the live shot of it. How cool is in that? See? How cool it is. It does like the iPhone 6 is just totally cool. And here is the camera effects and all. You can use it in the later part of the video. You will, be, you will understand what is the use for. I am just telling you the basic interface. Here is the camera shutter button. Here is the gallery. Here is, and the bottom you can find the 1080p video mode. Let's turn it on. Here is the video recording here. So I just pause it. Nothing else to show. The other part of the video, we'll see all other types of the interface in this camera. Till then, it was my small demo of this app. Hope you liked it. Do check out my other stuff and videos. Till then, this is Sandeep signing off. Cheers. Thank you very much, Sandeep. It's now my turn. So, if you guys want to edit your pics like a DSLR effect or you can want to get the awesome blurry effect just download the one application called PixArt and open it then select your image inside it and just start get editing so first of all you, go, you have to go to the tool section then not tool section basically in the effect section then you have to, turn, then you have to choose the blurry option so there are a lot of blur available in the application such as the uh, this one and we have the focus blur, zoom blur, many blur so but uh, for the this we have to choose the first one known as simple blur so then we have to choose the pen stroke to the full to edit the picture to reveal your picture from that blurry effect so sit back and enjoy the editing You have to be careful to your hairs because a lot of strokes are coming out of from your hairs. So once you finish that, you have to pick the right option, right button on the top of the screen, and you have done. So to save your image to your gallery, you have to click the small download icon. Then whatever name you want to give it to your image, just give it, and then it will be downloaded to your gallery. Just open your gallery to open the image. And now you can see your image in full screen like this. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it guys if you like this video please do let me know in the comment section below that's it it was really great working with you sandeep and hopefully we will meet you in future so yeah that's it